other instead of people working to be the best them. That's what I can't understand. Like human beings, right? Everybody wants to be better than the other person. And it doesn't matter. You go inside of the penitentiary and people will say, man, you know what? Hey, man, I got one body and the other person, man, I got two bodies. You ain't bothered like I'm bothered. It's like, man, oh, you done killed two people. Okay, I killed one. Like, you better than me. Like, I'm from the west side, man. I'm from the south side. You know what the south side about, right? People, like, are so quick to compare themselves to other people to make themselves feel better. But feeling better is not being better. So I'm telling my children that you don't want to feel better. You want to actually be better. And the way that you be better is continuing to put yourself up against yourself. It's continuing to compete against yourself. Meaning that I'm going to be better today than I was yesterday. That's how you actually be better. But you don't be better because you outscore them. That's not making you better because you outscore somebody else. You be better when you outscore yourself. If I outscore that person and I make 115 points and that person made 109 and, and that person made 114 points, I outscored that person. But but yesterday with another team that I was playing, I made 119 points. I made 120 points. I made a am, am I am I better? Yeah, every day. I'm not better if I made 115 points when yesterday I just made 119 points. Right, right, right. But 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 I made but I made 115 points and that person made 114 points. Right? Yeah, I won the game, but I didn't win at life. The the way that I win at life is when I beat me. It's when I beat the 119. So the way that I get better is when I'm making 120. Because I'm in a competition against myself. Nobody else. That's going to be in the book too, brothers. I'm in a competition against myself. This is the thinking that we must take on. And this is the thinking that I, I, I instill in my children. Everything is about, man, their mind. How are they thinking? Thinking is everything. Everything. Just think about it. Just think about it. Everything is about the way that we think. If you say, man, you know what? I can be a good leader for my stepchildren. Guess what? You will be. Because you're going to look for ways to be. I will be a good leader for my children. You will be because you will look for ways to be. I will be a good leader for my children. You will be because you will look for ways to be. I will not get reincarcerated ever again. You won't because you will look for ways to stay free. Right? You will do what's necessary. But you just got to, man, think it. If you think it, then you shall be it. That's what's so beautiful about it. If you think that the situation is okay, then it will be okay in the middle of chaos. It doesn't matter that everybody else is saying that it's not okay and it's all hell and everything is bad, right? If you think that it's good and it's going to be okay, your approach to that situation is going to be totally different than the person who is thinking that it's all bad and it's over with. If you think that it's all bad and it's over with, you're going to continue to just, man, just run into life in a way to where you are just going to self-destruct because you like, man, it's over with. So why should I even continue to prepare for something besides it being over with? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Everything is about the thinking. <clears throat> so what we are doing with our children is just making sure that they got the right type of thinking. But for them to have the right type of thinking, who got to have the right type of thinking? We can't give them the, way, the right type of thinking if we don't have it. Because a lot of times the way that we think, right? It's because we was given that way of thinking by our parents. People don't even try things because the, the people that came up that they came up around, they told them, man, it ain't no. I don't know why you sit up there trying to do all of that. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no need. Ain't nobody about to sit up here and hire you. Ain't nobody about to sit up here and take you. Ain't nobody. So 
now they think like that. So now they don't try stuff because they tell themselves what's been told to them, right? And that's how they are defeated in life because they say, man, you know what? Hey, man, they tell themselves, man, ain't nobody about to go ahead and accept me. Ain't nobody about to go ahead and love me. Ain't nobody about to go ahead and, and, and take me in. Man, I'm not worthy. And because they think that, their lives reflect that. The way that they move reflect that. You see how people's lives can go into a stupor because of the information that they were given and the information that they were operating off of? The thinking. 